Good afternoon everybody, my name's Thomas from Thomas Nisbet Training and this is just a wee video in regards to my competition and the stuff I put up on Instagram. So I put up a wee uh, a post just really to say if anybody wants to see a vlog or a wee video update and um, uh, aye, a lot of people said yes, I didn't actually expect it to be fair and it turns out a lot of you want to see me do a video. Um, don't know why to be fair but I'll just get a crack see see how it goes just going to record it in the one shoot and just really run through a wee update in regards to my competition so uh, first of all I'm doing a bodybuilding competition um, I'm a personal trainer, I'm a coach and I've just been um, doing this competition for the last like, 85 days so it's called the BNBF the British National Bodybuilding Federation is it? I don't even know if that's the right name. Anyway, we've just got to call it that, but it's a fantastic um, competition run for natural competitors. So, uh, I, for anybody that doesn't know what that means, that just means that they're not in roids, basically. Um, everyone gets tested, so everybody keeps saying, are you in steroids? Which I do find pretty funny, because if you actually seen the guys with their own steroids, they're massive. Um, but to the normal eye, people say that to me but in reality you should see the size of the, the actual people that take them and um, if anybody wants to see one just google Ronnie Coleman I'm sure you'll see the difference between me and him just a wee difference um, but I so I'll give you a wee update in regards to why I started that so that's probably important it's good for you to know why I done it and to answer that question truthfully I don't even know why I done it um, I walked into a gym the gym I train at is the weight room in Canvas Lang it's a fantastic gym and people have done it before and the person that owns the gym, Peter McDougall, he's a brilliant coach, he's won it and I just thought that, do you want to know what, I would like to do that and I says to him, should I go for it and he said, aye, go for it, just just put yourself at the deep end. If I knew, if, I know, if I'd known what I know now, I probably wouldn't have done it because it's so hard um, but it's, for me there was no motivation to ever become a bodybuilder, nothing like that at all, it was just walking into a gym one day and saying I'm going to do this and, and putting a bit of self-discipline in because uh, I was no bad for discipline but I was never um, on top of it but this has definitely taught me a, a new level of, of discipline so um, I so that's it, I'm competing in that on the 2nd of June so 17 days or so away, um, it's been brilliant I've been sticking to my diet, um, I've been sticking to my training not missed a session, not missed a meal, only cheated my diet once um, and that was at 200 mils, a tiny bit of almond milk, a tiny bit of almond milk and that's all I've cheated on. Uh, so, so the diet, which has been a funny, funny uh, experience. So, um, I, where do I start? So, I was never really strict for diets. Uh, I would eat what I want, eat peanut butter, bagels, chocolate, anything, Indians, Chinese, I would always eat everybody else's food if they didn't eat it, I would scan everything, um, but I would make sure I was eating partially healthy, so I would just try and eat as much food as possible, so then I transferred over to a, a strict diet, um, I'll run through what I was eating, I eat, I eat. so for the last 85 days this is all I've had, porridge with water, blueberries, sweet potato, chicken, veg, another meal of sweet potato, chicken, veg, another meal of sweet potato, chicken, veg, another meal of sweet potato, chicken, veg, and three eggs at night. The food's now down, so it's minuscule compared to what it was at the start. I'd also have rice and white potatoes when I was training, um, but chicken, potatoes, veg, porridge, basically, um, on my blueberries have been taken away, so my carbs are getting cut now, the diet's getting harder, uh, the fat's been taken away at night, so I'm having some more egg whites, so uh, having trouble some uh, sleeping now, which is brutal, so I'm only getting like six or seven hours of sleep a night, and um, usually I get about, uh, usually I get about eight, eight, I'm pretty good at sleeping, I've even invested in one of these, looks like I'm in bird box, just in case the apocalypse happens, just wear one of them at night, so just sitting, going to sleep, trying to get to sleep, listening to my meditation, putting me to sleep, talking to me, talking me to sleep. So that's how how uh, how deep things are now. Uh, but it's been really good. I've been really disciplined. Um, I'm setting an example to myself. I'm learning a lot about diet. I've learned a lot about food, which is good, so I can help my clients and stuff 
just with any questions. I know how to uh, work around uh, getting the most out of your workouts and how to feed up energy and the importance of eating food. Um, and I've learned a lot through the diet, so it's been really hard, um, but it's been an enjoyable experience. Uh, as much as I've been moaning constantly, I'm so glad that I'm doing it and uh, it's nearly done now, so I'm just got to kick on and I'm not got to cheat at all. Uh, one thing that I do keep getting asked and this is where the, the thing in my Instagram post will come up, so um, basically everyone keeps saying what's your first meal going to be and I've been thinking about it, I've been having a wee think and uh, I've not really got anything like an actual meal, I'd l everyone says the usual Nando's cheeky, uh, Burger King, KFC, whatever, Five Guys, Indian, Chinese, like Chicken Tikka Calzone, Chicken Tikka Hoagie, Five Guys sounds amazing, um, even Chicken Nuggets, that sounds frightening, so many different things, or oh, a Chicken Buna, Spicy Onions, Poppadoms, Fried Rice, and um, Perry Chips is amazing, or Spicy Chicken. I'm just got to stop speaking about food because I'm actually getting excited, but the biggest thing that I'm actually looking forward to, and I've said this from the start, is uh, this, uh, this Easter egg. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to demolishing that. It's been in my room for since uh, Easter, obviously, and uh, I just can't wait. It's the discipline that's been looking at me every night. I've left it out in the open. I've actually had it. I've hide. I've, I've. I don't know how to say that. I've had. That's so bad. Uh, so I've basically put it away because I don't want my brother or my dad to eat it. Uh, I've got a wee eye infection. Uh, I've my brother or my dad to eat it. So now they know it's in, in my room and they can see it. So if you're watching this, brother or my dad, Kevin or, or Big Thomas, then please don't eat it because I'm, I'll be raging um, but I just can't wait it's honestly going to be phenomenal it's just a, a standard easter egg with three packets m and I've got to bring these to the show I might bring a wee bit of easter egg because I don't think I'll want to eat it straight away because it would just be a bit too much but I'll eat, I'll eat a few of these eat half it demolish it and then keep it for the day after I think so I've got to scan that I can't wait I've actually been having some bad dreams about this so I keep waking up through the night, it's happened a few times and I think I've ate it, I think I've cheated my diet and I woke up like I can't believe I've done that and I just see this wee guy, this wee guy just sitting there um, just looking at me and I'm thinking oh I'm not going to eat you until, until the show day so I'm really looking forward to it, everybody's shocked when I tell them that I'm looking forward to eating an easter egg but I think it's the discipline part because it's been sitting in my room for so long, um, my dog nearly ate it so thank god because he would end up probably dying or something like that or getting not well but um i'm just looking at the the fat content in the back of it and it's it's ridiculous so um but i can't wait to munch munch this for you guys so i've got to bring it to my show i'm just got to eat it and it's got to be a, an amazing feeling i'm not sharing it with anybody so please don't ask me and i can't wait so that's the reason for the easter egg um so in regards to the diet as well, what's been happening, what can I update you on? Um, I've just done some crazy stuff, like I've been really disciplined. Um, I went down to London for a, a work trip and I had a full bag worth of meals, so that's about 12 meals of sweet potato, chicken and veg and, uh, and eggs and stuff like that and, um, and porridge. I ended up making the porridge out of like a wee tiny cup and the four tiny cups in the hotel room. I was eating uh, the sweet potato and I had it in a cooler bag so it was nice and cool but unfortunately that ended up breaking in the other bag so then my sweet potato was out of date so for about a day and a half I must have ate about a kilo and a half of sweet potato that was going out of date so on the way back up to the train I'm sitting in this carriage <laughs> and um, it's stinking like my meals are actually stinking and I'm sitting beside um, two people are that side of me and they can tell they're, they're pretty high up in their job they're really professional they've got a laptop out they're doing work and I've opened my meals and it's stinking out the carriage and I'm waiting eating it not waiting but bulking and when I went to flick it it's a plastic fork and a bit of sweet potato went flying and hit a guy that was right across from me I tried to apologise but he was just annoyed and ended up moving to one of the, the seats in which he didn't have any space so I ended up hitting a guy with out-of-date sweet potato, which uh, 
wasn't the best thing and uh, that was just a brutal experience so I've been, I've been eating stuff like cold eggs in my last night I was eating three three cold eggs and uh, at 10 o'clock at night because I needed to get the meals in so I've definitely showed a lot of discipline and I'm, I'm glad I've done it but that's just a wee update in regards to the meals so um, that's just an update how my prep's going it's going really well it's getting really hard and um, the diet is definitely making me start to question a lot of things in regards to just being unaware of certain things so people talking to me I'm not listening um, I'm starting to get that fried way you can probably see it my eyes actually from my contact I think so it's all right my eyes aren't falling out um, but this, the, the lack of sleep is getting to me I'm still pushing through I'm still really motivated but it's been a, a really good experience so that's the end of this video no structure to it I just thought I would crack open the camera and I even got a wee mic to so you can hear me chat so if you have any questions about fitness, if you'd like to see more of these, please like it, please share it if you think it's good. Um, even any questions around motivational speeches, any anything you want to bring up. I've had people ask me about um, how do you stay on track at the weekend, how do you stay on track with your diet, um, and I've been able to answer them just by giving them a quick call. So I can even cover these things in the video. I'd love to help you with fitness. It's something I'm really passionate about. I've done a lot of these talks before and um, hopefully I can try and reside with you and, and give you a few pointers so I hope you enjoy my video if you have any questions at all please let me know about fitness nutrition anything like that as I said it's Thomas Nisbet Training that's my, my wee company um, and uh, I hope you have a brilliant day hope you enjoyed listening and let me know what you think even if it's terrible have a good day